Thanks, Julia. Yeah. Thank you. Now, for a century, RADA, the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, has been training and turning out some of the best actors in the business. And the list of form pupils reads like a who's who of the acting profession. Well, now to Mark RADA's centenary. A new photographic book captures some of these famous former students off stage. In a moment, we're going to be talking to Richard Wilson and the photographer Cambridge Jones. But first, let's take a quick look at some of these remarkable images. You're beautiful. You're beautiful, you're beautiful, it's true I saw your face in a crowded place And I don't know what to do Cause I'll never be with you Great stuff. Well, Richard Wilson is here together with the man behind the lens, the photographer Cambridge Jones. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Enormous task tracking down all those big names then, Cambridge. How did you go about it? I was very lucky. I didn't have to do the tracking down. Oh. I just uh, turned up at their houses and they kindly made me tea and <laughs> <laughs> told me about the stains on their carpets. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're talking about 100 years of RADA. I mean, it has produced some remarkable artists. What, yes. What's its secret? Well, I don't know. I think, I think the teaching, by and large, uh, is, the, is the secret. And it's changed over the years. It's now a much more egalitarian institution. Uh, we seek people to take into RADA from all over the country. We have outreach schemes, we have youth schemes, so we're, it's not quite the... Still as difficult to get into, though? Very difficult. Mm. Mm. Still Do you know how many people apply to how many people? It's something like 3,000 for each, each intake. It's a lot. Mm. It's it's interesting. It's As Richard was watching that, he said, oh, I didn't know they went to RADA. And one of the fascinating things when I did the 100 people is time and time again, people would say, you've done that person. I didn't know they went to RADA, yeah. even though they've all been. It's, you, they, maybe they don't shout about it. Mm. But the present company ex accepted can be quite difficult to deal with people from RADA because if you're photographing them, they presumably have their own ideas very much about what they want <coughs> to portray. Do you know what? I, I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> I knew I was going to get in trouble for that. <laughs> I'm not sure. Wait like that. A <laughs> I, I found the opposite. I found it's a little bit like being a hairdresser in the sense that nobody's going to be rude to you for that 20 minutes, that hour, because they know that in your hands lies their image. So it, I didn't ever have that. And certainly not with Mr. Wilson. No. Well, look at that. Look, look at that. that. That's a fabulous image. And in terms of, I mean, acting comes from within, would, would you say? So how do you capture the character of people, as you obviously so, so ha, you know, as you have done, sorry, in the photographs? How do you capture someone, the essence of someone's character in a still? Well, I'll slightly contradict myself and then see if Richard can actually answer that better. I think actors are very hard to photograph because mm. I think they're used to portraying a character and then you're asking them to be themselves and they say, well, wait a minute, what's that? Maybe yeah. Should I do nothing? Because if I do anything, I'll be a character. And I, if I do musicians or politicians or something, they're... But uh, what's your answer? I, I, I think they're quite hard. Uh, well, I, I mean, I hate having my photograph taken. I mean, I really lose it. Uh, but if I'm in character, then I'm fine. I don't mind. You know, you have television cameras, and when you're acting and all that, it's no bother. But when you are... Cambridge is a very nice photographer, of course. Looking at the picture of you there, and when you look at that, what do you think, Richard? I think, I think I'm saying, how long is this going to last? <laughs> <laughs> Were you in character there, or was that really you that we're seeing? No, that, well, I, I hope it's me. Mm. I hope it's me. Mm. You didn't say, I don't believe it. I'm sorry, I had to get that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Breakfast television, oh, I no. expect you, better. You only says that for charity now. Yes, well, that's why I said it. <laughs> uh, but <if> you think <laughs> How much? 
<laughs> you could never afford You give it to the RADA bursary scheme. Well, uh, this whole thing about RADA, mm. I, I mean, what are your memories of it? Oh, I, I had a great time at RADA, uh, frightening as well, uh, because I was a mature student. I didn't go till I was 27. And RADA is one of the few places that takes people over 25. Mm. And the reason Cambridge's book is very kindly going to give money to the uh, RADA bursary scheme because RADA, uh, uh, any uh, student actor, of course, when they leave RADA with debts of £15,000 over three years, going into a very precarious profession, mm. we have to help try and help them reduce that debt. And what are the benefits then of someone going to RADA above other acting schools, would you both say? Well, it's the best school. Obviously. <laughs> End of discussion. There's another one you wouldn't say that, wouldn't you? But <laughs> well, no, I think, I think there are five big drama schools in London who are all at a very high standard. There's Rata and Central and Guildhall and uh, Weber Douglas and... Um, uh, I've forgotten the other one. Four schools, well, isn't there? But Four. Big yeah, ones. and talk us through the historical uh, background of RADA, 100 years. Well, it started off very, uh, pretty much a bit of a finishing school, really, in the early days, um, all these well, George years ago. Bernard Shaw, we're just looking at now. Uh, Bernard Shaw was a, a benefactor mm -hmm. of RADA. And, That's uh, not one of mine. I just <laughs> like, you know, I'll buy a big grainy for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Bernard Shaw was involved with RADA, and uh, a, a lot of the money came from uh, My Fair Lady. And Laurence Olivier, of course. Uh, Larry, yes. Oh, sorry, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it really is quite remarkable. Um, and, and, and this is a worldwide thing, isn't it? R RADA's reach is everywhere. Yes, absolutely. And we take, I mean, when I was at RADA, uh, I had uh, South Africans, Egyptians, Americans in my class, which it is a very international school. Mm. Mm. We had to, we're auctioning off a set of these prints and we had to get approval from all the actors and we were speaking to Anthony Hopkins in um, Malibu Beach mm. and they, RADA is so well known that the person I was speaking to, just when we said we were opening next week at Getty, assumed we were opening in LA at the Getty Museum, so RADA's name actually carries that far that they would assume why Fantastic. not we'll open in America. Lovely to see you both, thank you very much for coming in thank Cambridge you and Richard, thank you. Thank you.